Sunday morning dinner. Just came back from my Piggly Wiggly grocery haul, y'all. Of course, I got my bananas. And you guys not understand one thing. I know I uploaded a video about how I cook breakfast, but wanted to let you guys know that that video was about six months old. Um, my stomach was protruding out, but you can see now that I've lost a little weight. What's going on, Alberta and Stella, darling? How are you doing? What am I cooking? I am cooking, cooking making some turkey bacon, uh, grits, cheese and eggs, and pancakes yeah but me i'm gonna eat cheese and eggs and um, egg whites and tie some a banana but he is going to eat the other stuff i might just you know have a cheat day and a little bit of cheese and eggs and grits but i'm just getting back from uh piggly wiggly i stopped and got me some bananas yeah honey, i'm gonna get right now i'm gonna wash my face wash my hands i'll be right back albert and stella what's up bud flies how you doing darling for me, um, Albert and Stella, uh, two wonderful people, and happy Sunday, y'all. And guess what? Happy Fourth to all y'all veterans out there, sir. Roger Dead. Y'all give me just a second. I'm gonna give me a cool towel. I'm gonna get to do this cooking. But uh, y'all went to Walmart. I went to um, Piggly Wiggly. And I 
And I decorated my yard for 4th of July. And of course, my birthday is Friday, y'all. Be back with less than a minute. I'm coming, y'all. y'all it's only a quarter after 12 and i didn't go to church today because you guys know we buried my auntie uh this uh weekend and uh there's a lot of people there and uh, she had a, a great send off to um on her farewell to the other side of the unknown yeah it's hot and let me turn this fan down a little bit yeah y'all it's right now the temperature right now is 92 here in north carolina and it's hot. We got Albert and Stella. She said, what am I cooking, guys? I am going to cook in just a moment. He's watching wrestling on the backdrop, so I'm trying to get to turn the TV down a little bit. Turn the TV down. Cheesy. Right. Turn the TV down. I'm live. But anyway, y'all, um, I'm going to be cooking. Question is, is what am I cooking? Uh, from Albert and Stella, I'm cooking some turkey bacon, cooking some uh, grits, going to cook some cheese and eggs, and uh, pancakes. I'm, you know, leaning toward the pancakes. Should I cook some pancakes or should I make toast? I think he's gonna make toast because it's kind of hot today. Besides, he need to get on a diet too, even though he hey, looks slim. Head, you see a man trying to tell a woman how not to have a hot flash. That is not allowed. Come on, guys. So that's the thing on my head. No, it's uh, hormones. That's why I'm hot. You don't understand my blessed sword. Yummy. You know I mean? uh, the Bud Foss says, Good morning. Good morning, darling. Alberta Silo says, Cheat days never hurt. LOL. You're right about that. But hey, I know I'm on it. I'm, I'm just so. um motivated that i want to cheat date until my birthday and that's gonna be my cheat day that's next friday and i'm gonna treat myself to piccadillas y'all know piccadillas are good salads and stuff i used to love to do it um eat all the time when i was in the military but anyway happy fourth of july weekend to everybody happy sunday on this blessed holy day um a lot of you guys got tomorrow off hey, amen thank god for independence day right the fourth of july and for all veterans that serve in the military with me past present and to all the service member family who was the backbone of us so we can defend this great country happy fourth of july weekend baby rogers but getting back to the chat um hi but flowers from but files from albert and stella albert says it's happy happy blessed birthday mine is at 30. i know that's right honey miss miss leo the lion i know your birthday now i got something special for you too um yes but moving right along how are you doing after that i'm doing wonderful men are still that way ain't that's the truth albert and stella and how's your bird doing how your dogs doing darling Deborah Calabas home live. How you doing, my sister? How you doing? I was by y'all channel anyway this weekend. I mean, some of y'all got some videos. Like I like Alberta Stella, her bird lord is uh, is oh my god, vintage honey, great great YouTubing, straight to the point, bam. And um, of course, you know, um, I was at my girl. Um, uh, excuse me, y'all. <laughs> my eyes are burning. The allergies burn my eyes really bad. I got bad. I take um all the time. I can't, and that's why I love the summertime. I was born in July the seventh. But the reason why I hate the summertime so much is because these allergies. I did not know I was learning to pine tree. So when I go outside, wash my car, whatever, and pollen is in my eyes, get so dry. So I have to always keep a healthy hef thing of a, a theratil. I put in my eyes to make them, you know, more watery. Don't tell me when to get the cooking, boy. See there? Don't tell me when to cook. Mama's boy. <laughs> but anyway, he served time in the military, too. So, um, He's really hungry. And I'm getting there as well because um, today is already 11:20. I slept in a little late, guys, because it was raining hot all the time. But never mind. Never mind because he don't tell me when to cook. I cook when I get ready. But getting back to the chat, I hope everybody having a beautiful Sunday. And uh, all right, am I doing? I am doing great. I'm still uh, grieving a little bit, but God is good. God don't put no more in us so we can bear. Amen, y'all. Y'all can testify because we still he woke us up this morning. So happy Sunday, y'all. Um, men are silly that way. Yes, they are. Men can be very silly, honey. Morning, sister, come from Deborah. Calabas home live. What's up, baby? I was by your channel, and I also I was by a uh, bud uh, file. She has a beautiful home, y'all. Let me tell you about her house. And her daughter was so happy. She was just skipping all over the place. And I was so mesmerized by how nice her place is. And congratulations, bud files. You over your 500 subscription. Bam! That's the way to do it, baby. 
for a long your monetization monetization where your quality your content is baby it won't be long and every time i'm with you i see you and i think about you at albert so i'm gonna throw y'all out there people got 1.5 million to 50k to katie robert to whatever i'm gonna tell people about y'all all the time because i love y'all content and albert still i want you to do one you got a great content channel too darling and when i'm not on here y'all know i'm on the ground of youtube looking at y'all channels so i see y'all probably see some watch time going up because I've been playing Bud Files and Alberta still. I've been always look, I always play yours no matter what. Yours just stay on the back computer all the time, honey. And you ain't and you've been so good at YouTube. And I understand people, everybody don't do YouTube just to make money. I don't either. I just do it, you know, just because I love love meet people, love cooking, you know. You know, when they say great minds I always gonna meet. I love meeting great people like you guys, my family, y'all. But uh, I'm gonna get to cooking, y'all, because my son is grumbling, but I want to read the chat. And I'm trying to catch a little bit of bread because I just Put my fourth of july uh decorations up outside and i promised tonight guys i would do an upload of flowers and all that stuff because that's what we got going on today and tomorrow and you know i'm a retired sergeant major i'm going to show you fireworks that you ain't never seen before now upload will probably come between uh now and uh, not now but after uh tuesday between tuesday and thursday i'll make sure you guys get it before my birthday so i'll be like hey baby happy fourth and then you know of course my birthday uh, my mom's birthday was June 14th. She just turned 70, guys. I tell you, see my mom, you think she is my age in her late 50s. I'm not 50. <laughs> my mom is 70, but she don't look a day over 45. Some of you guys see my mom already. But anyway, getting to the point, she just had a birthday. My daughter's birthday. Um, you look at my webpage. Not my web. Oh, I do have a webpage. If you look at my community tab, you can see my daughter, who just turned 30, the big 3-6. You can see how beautiful she looks. And she just had a birthday June 30th. Mine is coming. Um, Alberta sell her is June 30th and happy birthday to anybody who has a birthday coming up or if I missed it happy birthday period happy born day because I was all up this morning but if you was born this day salute happy birthday but I'm uh, moving down the chat I will have to send you a photo of Stella's new cut she gets on there's I gotta see that honey I bet she's gonna be rocking that thing with your cute little doggy thank you as well my sister dragon dragon classy diamond all right. Oh, I love your name, Diamond. Come on now. Hey, y'all. Welcome to the chat. Batista Moses, welcome to the stream at Dragon Classic Diamond. All right. And I got to check you out. You like you got some good art going over there. And uh, uh, TWP popcorn in the house. Albert and Stella throwing out some champagne, some popcorn, and big hearts, and bam, from AAP uh, Network. And then we got Albert and Stella. I might be going with Stella to meet the Seahawks, but need to, but need to get third C short you know you make sure you take some up please please do an upload Stella please I love the Seahawks please honey please please do an upload from that alone darling but y'all let's get to this cooking y'all y'all this it, it, it is hot it is hot it is really hot but honey I gotta get this thing going I'm gonna tell you exactly what I'm about to start doing we're about to start burning something okay I am going to turn my oven on 350 guys 350 because y'all know what we're gonna do I went by Piggly Wiggly and I got an awesome deal on Sunday, because guys, I'm gonna tell you how to cut back on your cholesterol, your high blood pressure. When you want to eat right that bacon, you got switching in with something called turkey bacon. Now, me, I don't drop 10 pounds within the last four days on a military diet. I would do another video, ladies, when I lose some weight, you know, menopause, pre menopause, it does not matter. Me being an old drill starter, I can show you how to work it, baby. And I'm gonna tell you the most hardest thing for any physical fitness anybody in the military do when you get out, retired, to get back on that wheel. It takes a lot. You know how to do it. And you, you get so mad at yourself because you know you're supposed to be small. I look in the mirror, honey, look like my ass had two asses, okay? So I automatically put myself on a diet. But this is what we're going to do. The oven is already prepared on 325. And with turkey bacon, a lot of people say don't wash it pork. Don't listen to them, honey, because you don't know where what's on this meat or whatever. So I'm going to take me one, two, three, four, five, six strips. Wash my meat with turkey bacon, honey. You know, you want to because, you know, it's not like regular bacon. You know, you can wash it or stretch apart. But turkey bacon, you just lay it on in there, honey, and it comes just the way it is. You don't lose its form or anything. And a lot of people like to put butter on their stuff. Stop doing that, y'all. Y'all got high cholesterol, high blood pressure. Why would you put grease on top of meat to make more grease? And y'all wonder why y'all got these strokes and stuff carrying on. You need to switch up your diet. That's nothing wrong with eating turkey bacon. To me, I prefer turkey bacon over regular bacon. Really, I'd rather have turkey than pork any day. But hey, this is what we're gonna do. We'll slide this up in the uh, the um stove on three seventy-five for about 
30 to 45 minutes to your prayer because you know when you get turkey bacon it's pretty much pre-cooked i know people when i'm in the army uh, when we go out to the field and we might be in the field when i say field it means army training when we leave home and we have to go train you know somewhere you know i ain't gonna get all into that and we have to eat our own food i know a lot of people eat raw turkey bacon. it's like eating a, a raw hot dog you know what i mean some people like it that way like medium rare that type of stuff me i can have myself cooked I prefer fried, but right now I'm trying to stay away from fried foods because I need to make sure that my cholesterol is uh, going down because I, my doctor, when I took my physical at um, Fort Bragg about six months ago, they ended, they saw that my cholesterol levels was 198. So they were like, well, some major, you know how to get it down. You know how to get it down. I said, of course I do. But you know what? I didn't want to give up my donuts. I didn't want to give up my cheese and eggs. I didn't want to give up my pancakes. I didn't want to give up my my uh my 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 scrappy my frappy i didn't want to give up my coffee i didn't want to give up nothing not even my donuts y'all but i got on that scale and i realized that my my cholesterol level is that high then there's things i can do instead of fr fried bake instead of uh eating chicken i don't eat chicken guys i do not eat chicken if i do it's got to be like breast you know real cut up breast and that's probably the only part of the chicken i'll eat but um other people in my family eat fried chicken instead of you know when you fry chicken bake it but pull off the skin Things of that nature, you know what I'm saying? And definitely all the alcohol, sugar, all that stuff is out of my diet. And y'all can see right now I'm sweating because uh, I've been running around this hot too. So let's get to this cooking, y'all. Bacon is already in the, in the, um, the oven. We pull you guys a little closer. And the next thing I'm going to do, y'all, is get ready to put my grits on. Where I'm just going to take a little small pot. But you guys don't know how to cook rice. What Cooking rice and grits is the same thing. I don't know why y'all spend y'all expensive, good hard-earned money on this thing called a pasta maker, a rice maker, or all that stuff. Come on now. If you're a cook, you don't need to spend all your extra cash on such small gadgets. You know what I'm saying? I love old school cooking. Now you just give me a skillet, bam, I'm going to pop something, y'all. I mean, even though I might was born in New York and raised in, in the Carolinas, Southern cooking is the best thing I know how to do, honey. I can cook anything, but I love that Southern cooking. So what I'm doing now right now, guys, is getting a, a pot. I my sauce pot. That's what you have when you let a man come wash the dishes. <laughs> he didn't throw them anywhere. But bless his heart, he did wash the dishes. I'm not going to complain about that. And the next thing I'm just going to take my sauce pot, sauce pan, and uh, fill it halfway with water. Y'all know, you know, some of you guys got to measure it. You got to measure how much grease you cook. Let's say you're cooking for two people, then you want to put like two cups of water in there. But grease is so easy to cook, y'all. Just like cooking rice. You turn it on on a, a number seven. A medium seven let it come to a boil and this one i'm gonna do i like to put my butter in there already because what it does that water when it boils you put a little bit more extra water it breaks down the fat inside the butter and make your calories even better and your body will burn more more fat but if you guys are um on the doctor's care please get consult with your physician for any diet change or anything or any exercise okay i'm, I'm a sergeant mate but i'm not a doctor so, but what I'm going to do, if you guys understand what tablespoons, how to measure them, you look on the side of the butter, you see these little lines, one, two, and that's three tablespoons. But me, all I want is one tablespoon for me. And if anybody eat grits and they put their own butter in there, that's how I like to do mine. I'm on a diet, but everybody in this house ain't. <laughs> so I'm just going to go ahead and drop it in there, let it come to a good boil. And in the meantime, what I like to do is get my eggs ready the way I want them. I'm going to... Uh, skim it up a little bit today, guys. Just to just put this uh, video here. Uh, so, we got about three people going to eat in this house today. So, two eggs per. I'm going to put six six eggs. And, guys, look, I went by. You guys don't think um, Dollar General, the Dollar General house. I got these eggs, which they look very good. I guess because they're going out of business, they will sell these eggs for 50 cent. 50 cent. Only in the Carolinas, y'all. Only in the Carolinas. Cost of living ain't that high, but if you guys want to retire, want to save money, and want to move in the best place ever, I'm from Carolina. Nothing could be finer than to be in Carolina in the morning. I don't know who wrote that song. It just came to mind, though. Because <laughs> I love, I love the Carolinas. I love other places, too, but ain't it like home. So I'm going to go ahead and put six. Uh, these are six medium-sized Grade A eggs in here, but I love Piggly Wiggly too. 
And boy, that, that turkey bacon is feeling oh so fine. But I can read the chat. Love turkey bacon. Me too, Alberta and Stella. I need to get mine checked. Chick never done it. You know, that's a good thing to do because you know when you know what that cholesterol is. You know, cholesterol consists of good cholesterol, which is HDL, then you got the bad LDC. And HDL basically what it does is stop us from having, you know, uh it breaks down, make sure you don't get too much cholesterol. But when you got bad cholesterol, what that does is potential with strokes. And also sometimes, you know, I ought to get clock get uh get uh my Spanish gets uh, obstructed with all that plaque and basically. When you got blood pressure, it basically either you got high blood cholesterol, high cholesterol, and high blood pressure, just high blood pressure. But the way you can always, you can always, always turn that thing around, and you can fix it yourself by watching your diet change, exercise. I mean, people, when I say exercise, the first thing you say, you got, you got to work out. And this big old frown come on your face. Working out and getting up and dancing 15 minutes every morning, as long as you're doing something. You never heard the saying, "You uh, sit around, you go down." Please believe me, that will happen. And I'll tell you another thing that people don't understand. I'm a pet owner. I have, I love dogs. I have dogs, dogs, dogs. And I have a little cat, you know. Me and cat, we're trying to get along. It's my third egg, y'all. Let me go ahead and do this thing right quick. I don't want to mess it up. Three, four. I'm going to clean up a mess, y'all. I ain't perfect. Five, <laughs> six. And no, yo, I do not keep my egg, my eggshells in my carton. I hate that. Some people do, but I can't. What I do is just take it, make one trip to the trash can. Throw away. Yeah, I tell you, that smell is so good, that turkey bacon. And believe it or not, when you bake your food versus frying it, you are your heart's gonna thank you for that. <laughs> then the next thing I'm gonna do is get my milk. Now, guys, I'm gonna tell you something. A lot of people like, and my mother, she loves to put powder milk in her eggs. A lot of no, you know, people say, don't put no milk in your eggs. Why not? You ain't got to put vitamin D. You can always put what? 2% milk. I got, I love, I love milk. I love dairy. And when I put it inside my eggs, it makes my eggs a beautiful color and they come out just perfect. I don't say put a whole cup in there, but just a little bit. And what it's going to do is bam, make them eggs and just bam, pop them eggs. Hey, what's up, Trucker Z? Y'all drop links, get to know each other. You got a channel. You got, got some content. Or you one day you want to be, uh, be a YouTuber, but you don't know if you uh, got no content and might want to be one later. Y'all better get to know each other. Network, network, network. Not sub for sub. We don't do that around here. We got people that's dedicated been on YouTube for a long time. Like Trucker Z, myself. Big home in the house. What's up, baby? Alberta Seller. And then, we, of course, we got Miss uh, Bud Files up in there. So a lot of y'all know each other already. If you don't, drop links. Um, Trucker Z, I was by your house the other day. Awesome content, baby. Look good. You lost some weight. I'm proud of you. Hey, look. I don't lost 15 pounds myself. Y'all what? And watch some guns. What? 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 <laughs> What? It's called push-ups, baby. I ain't trying to brag, but happy 4th of July, y'all. But get back to this breakfast. Thank you for the thumbs up. Like, share me out. If you got content, drop the links, because I understand you could go to the side over there, the comment, and click on that uh, that that statement or that sentence, that person, and you go to the channel. But sometimes it don't work all the time, y'all. So if you got a special video or premiere, drop your links, get to know each other, because everybody going to subscribe to somebody up here, because that's what we get down on the CDP, baby. Carolina Diamond, bam, you know it. But y'all, what I'm doing right now is basically put my milk into my eggs. And what I'm going to do now is just basically stir it up. Stir it up. Y'all remember my brother Mac, he said stir it up like motherfucking coffee. <laughs> Excuse my language, but it's his words, not mine. I love Bernie Mac. Rest in peace, brother. Y'all see how, go, how, that, how that looks. Y'all going to see the difference. A lot of people like to just throw, they got different types of eggs. You like sunny side up, fried, scrambled, diced, boiled, I mean poached, you know <laughs> But if you're going to scramble your eggs like this, do it that way. You're going to see a big difference, and it's going to be oh so pretty. And then what I'm going to do, guys, now is call this thing called shredded eggs. you got many ways to cook cheese and eggs, but we're doing it my way. Y'all remember Frank Sinatra? I did it my way. Y'all know I uh, – thank you for sharing me out, Trucker Z, um, Big Homes. But anyway, what I'm going to do is going to put like a, a one-fourth cup of cheese on top and maybe a little bit more. It's my cheat day, right? <laughs> Like Alberta says, I ain't nothing wrong with eating, honey. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to check on the turkey bacon. I don't want my turkey bacon there too long because I like mine to come out nice and crisp but not crispy. You feel me? So what I'm going to do now, guys, and look, if you ain't got one of these invests, go to Walmart, get, get you one of these. And what these is, is basically like a George Foreman without plugging it in. You dip your meat, whatever meat you and cause all that 
you all that oil to drain off and it saves you a lot of calories guys and, and it's good for your heart your heart well thank you for it get you one of these it don't cost much like at walmart i think i paid like five dollars for this and then gotta worry about plugging up no drawers for the cooking when i could just use this right <laughs> so what i'm gonna do is this basically just turn flip my uh turkey bacon over and you guys know no, turkey bacon does not cause a lot of grease it does not and that's why i love turkey bacon versus all the traditional um bacon and turkey bacon does not have all that fat it has half half the fat that uh regular bacon does but so, you know the doctors say you say that if you eat pork and like what did you eat bacon cut back on the bacon bro and get some turkey bacon you eat all you want it's like double proportion of one turkey bacon is like one fourth the calories of uh the regular bacon so what you want to do is just flip them like you do bacon honey and turkey bacon i'm gonna tell you why i love it so much it is good it's, and it's good for you you won't get no high blood pressure with turkey bacon please believe me so i'm just gonna let that go for a little while i'm trying to make it nice and pretty y'all i like my meat to be even but it ain't that serious i'm only turkey bacon but yeah turn it off i'm gonna turn up a little bit on like 425 because i'm really hungry and next thing i'm gonna do guys is go ahead and get my spatula out and i know some of you guys like to use butter don't do that i'm trying to go to that don't do that if you got high blood pressure don't do that if you got high cholesterol. Do not put no butter in your eggs. Do not put vegetable oil in your eggs. Go get you some olive oil, baby. Go get you some king. I believe it's butter. Go get you some of that. Find ways to cut back. And all you got to do is turn that panel to the side. Now, we hate doing it, but sometimes we're saving our own lives. Look at what you're eating, people. You know what? This body, I mean, everybody talking about church. Church is the bit of, to them. To me, no. Church is this body. Whatever you put in this body is what's going to become of you. Put some good stuff in there. I promise you, you'll think you'll, be, you'll feel better, you'll look better, and guess what? Your heart will thank you for that. Find ways to cut back on the fat, y'all. Don't fry, bake, pull the, the chicken skin off the chicken, bake it, grill it. It's the Fourth of July. Get out, do something, exercise, but be happy. And you know what? And I was watching um uh YouTube because I had to get some statistics for my class. You guys know I'm working on my dual degree as a phd and one thing i've learned is that the quickest way to lose weight is laughter do you know if you laugh at your favorite move you're already burning 40 calories of laughing per hour and you're working out all those muscles in your abs did you know that the small things and all you guys is married you honeymooners because you know my aunt just got married and all that making love and that would be per hour you're burning 2,000 calories alone. Depends how freaky you can be. Let me hush y'all. Kids might be. I'm just saying little small things. You, honey, when your body's moving, it's like energy. You're wasting energy. So start putting good things in so you can have more energy be around a long time, y'all. But what I'm going to do right now is go ahead and put my, I like to use olive oil for my eggs. So I'm going to put two tablespoons of that. And my grits is just like, it's time to add my grits, guys. Because I did put my one tablespoon of uh, butter in my water. And now it is ready for my grits. So we had to have that turkey bacon to catch up. So I'm going to put it on 425. What's fine is already on 425. And what I'm doing now is, guys, putting about a cup of grits. But we love grits around here, honey. And that turkey bacon, and I like to put my cheese and eggs and mix it together and make it a grit bowl. Oh, man, you got something special. Instead of eating brunch, you are eating whatever you want to call it. Because, <laughs> you know, breakfast is the most important thing of the most important thing. Don't skip it, y'all. Because that's your yeah, body waking up is already hungry. Give me something good to eat. Don't ever miss breakfast. Please don't. I'm going to read the chat in just a minute, y'all. I'm going to sit down a minute. I got to wait on, on that bacon. But I'm putting right now um, three tablespoons of olive oil. Because what I'm going to do, guys, I was going to make an um, omelet, but I changed my mind about that. So I'm just going to make it traditionally um, scrambled. I'm going to put a little bit of onions, onions, y'all, in my eggs. Not too much, but just a little bit. I'm going to put a little bit of tomatoes. And we're gonna make this thing on. I'm gonna go ahead and make it on. a quick honest. I like to call this a veggie. I don't know what I'm gonna do is guys go ahead and um cut out my tomatoes, guys. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna get my well, I'll show you just a minute what I'm doing. What I'm doing right now is cutting four slices of tomatoes, right? What I'm gonna do is double triple stack them. Stack them up and cut them into three even three even levels. Then I'm gonna go back and double cross it again. And what I'm going to do is put these tomatoes inside this cheese and eggs with the milk that I just stirred up the yolk. And I'm going to show you something, honey. It's going to be good. Wish I, got, I got some green peppers, too, y'all. I got some red peppers, too. 
I'm thinking like I'm having a Caribbean breakfast this morning. Y'all. I don't know. I feel like cooking a little bit. I get tired of the same old board cheese and eggs eat every morning. We're going to do something very special, the lowest day. And yes, and what I'm going to do is go ahead and stir it all up. I'm not going to put anything other than that. No onions, no onions, even though I wish I had. I got spring onions, so uh, I think that's a little too much too bland for cheese and eggs. It might change the taste of it. So I'm going to do um, is go ahead and turn on the my front eye on a, a high seven, high seven to get it ready going for this grease. So I can go ahead and put the cheese, the eggs, and the uh, well, actually uh, the veggie army in there. I got five people to build a five thumbs up. Thank you guys so much. Like, share me out if you want more content about this. Leave it in the uh, playback in the comments. I'll put it over there where I can see. I'm about to sit down and give y'all a shout out in just a minute since I get my kids situated. And I hate cooking in a dirty kitchen. No, dog. Lord, if your kids are dirty, guess what? I ain't coming in there. <laughs> I mean, really. I don't want it. Don't need it. But we know everybody probably don't have the ability to uh, clean up. But hey, do what you can. Stay motivated. That's how you lose weight by moving around. And turn the TV off. Get up that social media for a while and get some me time in. Y'all know what I'm saying? I mean, that's what's wrong with us. That's how we gain weight. We're on the computer too much. If we go back to the times of the 80s and 90s when we was out there doing the new jet swing and doing the worm and, you know, popping it like it's hot when we was young. Y'all realize how happy we'll be, how much weight we will actually lose? By doing the things you love. Go skating, go bowling, do something. I'm just saying, y'all. Life too short to be sitting around. Like, God, I wish I did this. God, I wish I do that. Do, do count. One, two, three, four, five, and just do it. That's how I learned how to do it. That's how you get rid of procrastinating. You got to sit, you sitting down and say, I'm chugging seat sitting around. I just got home and I know, you know, just driving all week and I just woke up and had a fabulous Friday. Now I'm Saturday and I'm sitting around I'm, and I can think about all the things I supposed to do. And one thing come to your mind, count it one, two, three, four, five on that. When you count to five, just get up and do it. That's it. That's, and I've learned that 65% of people procrastinate knowing they got something to do to count to five and just get up and do it. It gets done. Some I learned in Sergeant Major School. <laughs> some of us just know we just got to pray for y'all don't want to do nothing but just be a cast potato that's what you want to do that's your life me honey i want to move and groove and be 99 100 years old still just twerk with my grandbaby you know what i'm saying my grandkids in other words just be happy no never that y'all don't need me to preach to y'all this morning because we all can preach to ourselves what i'm going to do is put a little bit of salt on top of the omelet you guys just a little bit not too much I like to put a less salt, let put their own salt on it because sodium is the number one killer, too, guys. You cut back on your sodium, you're going to your body. Well, thank you for it. Okay, while that's going, I'm going to go ahead and get my, serve my grits and turn it down on a low six. And that's, it's cooking pretty good, y'all. And at this time, this is what I'm going to do now. Put a little bit of another tab, tablespoon of butter in it, put a little bit of milk, and uh, let it do what it do. And I sit down and talk to you. We'll tell y'all a little bit more of that two cent milk. Put a little bit on, just a little bit, maybe about a half, a half cup of milk. And what it does to your milk, your, your grits, the milk does to your grits is basically make your grits come out nice, smooth, and creamy. Like that cream of wheat, but not cream of wheat. Look so pretty. I don't know. I just love how to cook. Make the food look pretty. Make it pop. Just put the right ingredients in. But don't ever, ever be afraid of seasoning your food because what makes great food is your seasoning and the love and the, you know, the the way you prepare your food. And now I'm going to guys and put a little bit of black pepper on it. When it comes to eggs, I don't do too much, too, because, you know, you got eggs. And you guys, let me tell you something about eggs. He's out telling y'all don't eat eggs because of high cholesterol and all that. I understand that. I understand that. But did you know, if you can go and look up on Google and it tells you all the vitamins inside of an egg, the egg got all the essential vitamins you need and promise you, if you're paying a whole lot of money on these vitamins, eat three eggs and see what it does. I promise you, you get all the nutrients, the vitamins that your body needs, y'all. You know, the incredible egg, y'all remember that? Oh, the incredible egg. It came out in the 70s and 80s, that commercial. Honey, I'm telling you, the best thing ever popped is the egg. And, it, and, and I don't know why people saying you don't eat the yellow of an egg because it's got bad cholesterol. No, it don't. It's got omega fats that you need. No high cholesterol. It's got cholesterol, but it's not either good or bad. That's just something I learned in physician school, you know? <laughs> I'm going to sit down and talk to y'all guys. I'm going to uh, go ahead and stir these eggs a little bit because the base is forming. And guys, if you want to go ahead and cook the omelet, what you want to do is let 
your eggs just boom just come with a base and then you flip it three times and then let it simmer about a minute or two then flip it again bam and then you got your omelet but, uh, but this purpose of this video today we're gonna make these scramble okay so i can sit down and talk to you so, so i'm gonna do is basically let my eggs to, to continue form because i'm familiar this is not two eggs it's six eggs so what i'm gonna do is turn them on small medium until my turkey bacon catches up and it's getting there and I'm going to take my grits and put them on a low two. You cover up my food, y'all. I love covering my food. I do. I don't know. Because when you cover up your food, you're doing two things. One, you keep the heat and the flavor inside your food so that food can come out with a, a, great, a great flavor. And then you never know. Shoot. Black could be coming on. Just boom, dropping your food. I don't know that. The devil is a lot. So what I'm going to do is put a lid on top of that. And then I'm gonna find what put this this scrambled egg. I ain't gotta worry about that. But let me ready to flip over about a minute too. I'm gonna read the chat though. We're gonna come back with this fan, y'all. We're gonna take my bacon about five more minutes before I flip it again. But get it to the chat. Let me go get my glasses. Please let me get my glasses. I don't want to miss nothing when I talk to my people. I love y'all having Sunday. And I bet y'all wonder why is Carolina time to have on that towel on her on her shoulder because it's a cool towel, y'all. And me, I don't like to sweat in my kitchen for nobody. I was there's a time to sweat, but now, now when you go through hot flash, and what it does, if anybody's going through hot flash, y'all know what I mean. You got to stay cool. Got to stay cool. One thing I can do is turn off the light. Yeah, I am also hungry. I'm starving, y'all. Check it in. Everything's coming together. I got time to sit down and relax about five minutes and read the chat. I am sorry if I missed anyone, y'all, because I had to get the food on. And it's already almost 12 o'clock, so we are actually eating brunch and lunch at the same time. Oh, God. I ain't been too long. Just got back home. I put in my 4th of, Ju 4th of July De uh, Independence Day uh, decorations outside. It was wonderful. I'll do an upload of fireworks to come, guys, because I want to support Bragg in many places that I got to be at. And that's why you see this thing on my head because my hair got deep condition on it. And wow, I gotta get ready for a whole lot of things. But getting back to the chat, I'm gonna start from the beginning, y'all, because I don't know where I stopped at. And welcome to the chat. I got one person to build a six thumbs up. I got Albert, so she said, What are you cooking? Let me tell you guys what I'm cooking. I'm cooking cheese, egg, and omelet, tomato, um, scramble, not an omelet. I changed my mind. It's gonna be scramble. I got turkey back in the stove. We're cooking some grits right now, and in a minute, I'm gonna get the toast and Pretty much that's all we're gonna eat for breakfast today because it is lunch time and I, I gotta get ready for dinner tonight. So I'm gonna do another upload. If you guys don't know what I'm doing with this challenge, basically taking them Carolina Diamond Dungeons. I still do my little exploring whenever, but my niche is basically gonna be cooking, okay? <laughs> Grilling that type of stuff because guys don't know. Then I'm gonna go another series about 30 days of salad, showing you guys how better way to lose weight, how to look good and stay sexy forever, no matter what your age are, by showing you better techniques to make your life great with your heart so let's thank you and how to make you stay younger okay i'm getting back to the chat that's what i'm cooking and abros is yummy then the bud file files is up in the house congrats honey on your 5,000 subscribers boom keep doing wonderful house she says morning people then abros says cheat days never hurt you right you can always use the day we will eat where we want to but me i'm so proud that i lost 50 pounds that i just gotta keep pushing sister but oh yeah i forgot and you did yours on the fourth we do it on the first. Oh, really? All right. In Canada, I love you guys. You know I do. I know that. So but I'm going to tell you every day, happy, every day, any day, any holiday, let it in. This holiday be your holiday, no matter where you are. And happy for to everybody. But moving down, high bud flowers from Albert and Stella. Happy belated birthday. Mine is the 30th. Happy uh, early birthday, 30th of July. Mine's the 7th. All right. Moving down to chat, y'all, because I smell my food burning. No. Hold on, y'all. We're going to get back to the chat. But right now, y'all better turn this uh, turkey bacon. I'll let you guys see in a minute what uh, it looks like. And I see my place in the chat, so I ain't lost anything, guys. But anyway, what I'm going to do now is get my fork that I had over here and stir up my cheese and egg omelet. Yeah, I'm going to get this in the chat. I promise you. I promise you. By the time this food is ready to done, we're going to be there. And yeah, because I was going to make an omelet, I made it had a base. What I'm gonna do right now is uh lightly flip it over because uh I have a lot of uh, eggs in here on a small 
spatula. I should have got the big one, but I have um shrimp in the, that big spatula from last night in the refrigerator. So I have to use this one right now. I could have got my grill, my grill, but I didn't want I mean, uh, my iron spill, but I didn't want to do all that. Not for no dog on these scrambled eggs. But right now, you guys can see it is forming. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like in just a second. I'm going to go ahead and flip my um, turkey bacon over. Oh, it's smelling good up in here. Y'all look at me. Oh, the house ain't got shit on me, y'all. <laughs> Let me quick, y'all. I'm about to drop a glass. Lord have mercy. I'm having such a good time. I love cooking. And I love talking to you guys. And I just want to say happy Sunday. Be going to church. Say a prayer for me. If not still know that church is not a building. It's in your heart. And I'm saying a prayer for everybody every day of my life. And when you veterans who serve along with me, past, future, now, happy Independence Day, y'all. Weekend. I know y'all enjoying that nine to six hour, right? That four day weekend, but And some of you guys um, got tomorrow off because us service members made this Independence Day every day for y'all while y'all sleeping on y'all being protected by the United States Armed Forces, baby. Or happy Independence Day to everybody. But this land is your land. This land is my land. From California to the New York Islands. This land was made for you and me. Love to all Americans. I love to everybody. Have the independence day, have the world independence day. How about that? But yeah, we got the eggs looking good, y'all. I'm trying to make sure that they are properly uh stirred up because you know it's so little wet, and then I got the cheese in it, it makes it both so good. And when you put a little bit of milk, you want to make sure that all that extra milk that you put inside the eggs is drained the right way. And Lord, I tell y'all, it looks so good. And I wish I put some onions in there, y'all. I'm gonna show y'all exactly what the yeah, I go, y'all. I don't want to be rude. Show y'all what it is. I'm gonna flip my turkey bacon over. I remember when I told y'all about this. Get one invest in it because what it does, what it does, y'all. It's time to eat too. What it does is basically um drain your meat. So what I'm gonna do now, guys, is go ahead and get a turn this oven off. Turkey bacon's already ready. What I'm gonna do now is get a just to get up, put some paper towel over it. Oh God, let me hurry up. One thing I like these with paper towels. I, I hate when they split them up in three. It's like you, they cut them in half and put a little, when you pull them apart, I like a big one. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you ain't got to worry about pulling them down the half of a little, uh, half of one coming off. Y'all look at the turkey bacon. I'm going to show y'all what it looks like, y'all. It's popping, too. Oh, yeah. And one thing about turkey bacon, it cooks a little faster than um, regular bacon. It comes out, oh, so pretty. I'll show you guys what it looks like. So what I need to do is turn this oven off. Look at y'all. Woo wee! Okay, now what I'm gonna do now, guys, and put this uh, turkey bacon to the side. And what I'm gonna do is put the cheese and eggs on the same plate because what it does is drain all that excess butter and all that other stuff that you put in the ingredients. And for me, I like to put it drain that extra olive oil off my eggs. So what I'm gonna do is put my meat drainer to the side and take you show you guys how these cheese and eggs look with tomatoes in it. Oh my god. Oh, so good. I ain't trying to make it look pretty, y'all, because when you're in the kids, it's time to eat. It's time to eat. We ain't in no restaurant day. We get home. But for you guys, it's going to look pretty. And I like my tomatoes because it gives my eggs such a beautiful color. And maybe I put that milk in there, guys. Every time you put milk in your dairy, dairy products you're cooking, put inside your eggs or whatever, I promise you, it's going to give it that beautiful, what, golden color. Mm, can y'all smell it? Can you smell what Carolina Diamond has cooked? <laughs> Y'all, did y'all see wrestling last night, y'all? Can y'all believe that Ronda Rousey lost her belt to that girl, the other, what's the name, Nikki Bell, or whatever her name is. Man, I was like, oh, my God. Money in the bank. Now, y'all, what I'm going to do now is come over here and sit and look at my grits. My grits is already caught up a little bit. I'm going to continue to drain. And what I'm going to do now, y'all, is turn on a higher, to the notch up instead of six, I'm going to put it up to seven. And at the same time, I'm going to get my toast. Now, this time I'm going to tell you, I'm not going to put toaster. I'm going to put it inside the what? Toaster. Right. So, what I'm going to do is basically make four, well, just two, because I did not eat toast. My uh, my other guests are my mom and my sister. I'm eating toast. I'm not eating toast. Okay. I don't need that bread, though. I got enough junk in the trunk to work with, right? <laughs> So no bread, no sugar, none of that starchy stuff. Just when I use the vegetables, I like to use that green, the greeny, greeny stuff. You know what I'm saying? It's good for you. I don't. I'm trying to get rid of some of this carbs so I can.
burn more. So that means I need more protein, less, less carbs, and less fats. High protein diet, baby. I weight train. But anyway, waiting on the grits, waiting on the, oh God, let me make this toast up a little higher. So while we're waiting on the toast, y'all, I'm going to put all my utensils inside the, um, the sink. Put my glasses to the side. We're going to read this chat. But first one thing, I got to do one thing, y'all. I've got to put some grits, no, excuse me, butter and salt and pepper in this grits, y'all. Hold that back up. And then we'll sit down and eat breakfast, right? So what I'm going to do, y'all, is just keep down my calorie intake. And anybody wants some butter in their grits, when they got to put it in their plate, they can get it. I'm just going to put a tablespoon, just one tablespoon. You guys, let me show you one more time. A lot of people don't know this. If, if you want to know what tablespoons of butter is, just look on the side right there. You see what I'm saying? This boy, look, he's going to woke up hungry. He's just ready to just start eating. Y'all going to see what's in my kitchen. See what I'm saying? He's ready. He's hungry. So, y'all, what I'm going to do is, because I know it's, not, it's already lunchtime, I'm going to hurry up and do this. Hey, I know you better get out of my plate and go wash your hands. Get out of my kitchen, dude. Oh, you better get the hell up out of here, yo. Sorry, y'all. Don't nobody be in my kitchen. I see it's time to eat. Go right. wash your hands, boy. I just put that butter up in there, y'all. Yeah. So I can put the butter back in there. Put that knife in. Get ready to wash. I got to have a clean kitchen, y'all. Yeah. And so now since the toast is ready, um, is it dark enough for me? Not dark enough, so I'm going to do that one more time. And start the grits. I'm going to read the chat. Yeah, my grits is coming along just fine. Yeah, you can take anywhere of grits between anywhere. You got quick grits like five, six minutes. You got quick grits like I got. It's gonna take about 15, 20 minutes. To do it. And I like to put my grits nice and slow because it comes out just the way I like it. And plus that milk is gonna make it pop. So anyway, you can read the chat. Y'all, let me go back and read because it's about time to eat. I've been on 47 minutes and 14 seconds, 16 seconds. I got three people in the building, six thumbs up. Let's see you up in there. I want to give a shout out to all the people that uh came through today um albert and stella mac daddy uh doggy the gator boy what's up what's popping honey i'm um, hope you guys watched wrestling wrestling last night was a trip y'all some of you guys don't watch wrestling but we'll talk about that later when we do di dinner and drinks tonight um i don't know what if you guys got any, any ideas about what you'd like to see me cook with tonight um watch it on the playback put it on the comments over here or watch the video again and you gotta really watch the whole thing just put it in the comments so i have some idea because tonight at six o'clock bam we're coming back to you with another um video and I, I gotta go live to get my coverage so you might as well come on and talk to me uh anyway um what are you cooking i cook some you guys what i call uh, cheese and eggs grit some uh toast and we cook some turkey bacon two people go set a thumbs up yummy morning people uh cheat days never hurt anyone lol says they heard of stella oh yeah i forgot you did yours on the fourth we do it on the first i was talking about independence day and happy independence day to everyone Happy lady birthday. Mine is the 30th. LOL. The lady, my birthday, oh, my daughter's birthday. Yep, you're right. It was June 30th. Mine's the 7th. And Alberta's on the 30th. Oh, we got a um, Leo in the house. Man, are silly. She's talking about my crazy boyfriend. Deborah Class, home living. Morning, sis. What's going on, darling? I hope everything is going great for you. And a happy Sunday to everybody in this chat. Alberta Stella says, I will have to send you a photo of Stella's new cut. She gets on Thursday. Oh, God, Stella, she's going to be rocking. If you guys don't know, Alberta has a beautiful dog named Stella, and I love him. And she's got some beautiful birds, too. Uh, thank you as well, my sister, Deborah, De Deborah Cabasa, Home Living. I got to check out your channel. We got some things. I love the cord. I love the way you be doing your stuff, and you be rocking. And I want to say um, also to Bud, Bud Files, awesome apartment, baby. You picked the right one. And um, congratulations on your 500 subscribers. Now you that community tab. Share me out, girl. Um, Dime, um, dragon classes up in the house. Dragon class, I gotta give you something, baby. And I'm sweating, I gotta wipe my face, honey. And guess what? You look good and move, darling. Hold on, y'all. I hate sweating. Y'all wouldn't go through menopause. Pray for a sister. He's relentless to me. <laughs> I even stopped drinking coffee, y'all. Guess what I'm drinking now? Green tea. But well, anyway, um, welcome, uh, dragon class. You are now blue. They are going okay. We do lost one of our girls to egg grinding, but the rest are great facts. Hey, Batissimo coming from Dragon Classy Diamond, who now is a moderator. And I love your art, darling. 
Fred Franklin up in the house. What's going on, brother? How you doing? God bless you, my friend. Albert says is hi, Dragon. Albert says hi, Fred. Fred says hey, Albert was popping. Uh, Dragon Classy Diamond Art says hey, Alberta. Everybody getting to know each other. That's what I'm saying. Showing the love. Albert and Sus says congrats, bud. And Alberta and Sus says I got a mobile. I got. Let me see. I need to get a mobile to do a video, but we'll do one soon. I'm waiting for it, darling. You got great content. I don't know why you stopped. TWP popcorn and houses, what's popping? Everything's popping, baby. We have a beautiful Sunday to you and yours. And then Alberto says, I do it only for fun, but guess what? I love it when you do because you got great content, my sister. Hi, popcorn. Alberto and Stella are throwing up some uh, uh, champagne, popcorn, big hearts, and bam, AP type of thing. I'm going to be with Stella to meet the Seahawks. Please take a footage of that, Stella, when you do. We'll do. Love turkey bacon. I need to get mine. Check out. I'm uh, talking about high cholesterol, high blood pressure, guys. Please, y'all will take care of yourself. It is cold here today and dark. I wish I was in Canada with you, honey. It's hot as hell here. <laughs> Good morning, big home. What's up? Okay, I'm going down to tell y'all. Y'all got me smiling already in the name of Jesus. Good morning from big homie. Tears with the beers. I'm about to be drinking me some beer. Hello, get on Stone Cold Steve Foster. Do one for me, bro. Now I quit drinking. I'm going to drink some my brother. But as big, big home says... You just advanced to level eight. I will stay away from shit. The sodium is bad for the heart. For sure, honey. Big homes is working. Out makes me feel good. Lift the weights and walking or jogging. Same thing here, honey. Soldier, soldier, baby. I feel you. Truck is up in the house. And yo, yo, yo. What's popping, baby? You look good on your uh, weight. Baby, look good. We're losing that weight playing that b-ball. That's what I'm talking about. Nice booty. My favorite color. You know mine, too. Carolina Diamond, honey. It's Carolina. UNC Chapel Hill, baby. Yeah. Play basketball for them while I went to... Uh, the military. Well, I was actually with the military. I took ROTC, but yes, that's why I not play professional basketball because I love me some UNC. You know, local color blue, Carolina blue. <laughs> nice tea, my favorite color. I'm glad it is. Thanks from Chugga Z, big homie. I smashed that like button. Thank you, bro. Appreciate it. Uh, Chugga Z said, "Share me out. Thank you, baby. I appreciate it, darling. You're always there for me, homeboy. I had a shrimp omelet earlier. Sounds lovely. Good choice of something to eat too. Good way to lose weight." You always busy. You're a trucker anyway, trucker Z, and you're always playing basketball. You know what to do. Homeboy, Brooklyn, New York. I mean, excuse me, uh, Buffalo, New York. That's good. You can get nice and feel. Hang with Mr. J. Hello, Carolina, everyone. Hang with Mr. J. How you doing? You are now as the last moderated. I'm ever going to get out of my whole life. I ain't going to say that because somebody might come along. I'll give them one, take one. You know, but you got your moderationization going. Congratulations. Uh, yes, I actually laugh. And I'm, 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 yeah, there is actually laughing yoga. That's right, trucker Z. Hang with Mr. J. What are those simple things? Burn cow, you know, it makes you look good, feel good, and it makes you live a long time. You know, peace be still and laughter. Laughter makes you lose 40 pounds, and why not laugh? Get you a good blunt, go watch a good movie. I promise you, you'll burn at least 120 calories. <laughs> yes, 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 to all those questions. Uh, hang it, Mr. J. And I am retired, so I'm amazing. I can show you how to lose weight, but I'm just putting my own mess on my own self, okay? Because I got junk in my trunk, I need to lose too. And I hope I don't burn these grits, y'all. But you know what? I think I'm about down to check. Hold on, y'all. Yes, the food is ready. The food is ready. The food is definitely ready, y'all. So I'm going to show y'all my food. I'm going to get back to the chat. So what I'm going to do, y'all, is get my plate. And what I'm going to do is eat my tail. I'm going to get me two. Oh, let me show y'all what I got going on here. This is for dinner. I mean, for brunch. I got my turkey bacon, cheese and eggs. So me, I'm going to get two strips of turkey bacon. Now, turkey bacon is very healthy. The reason why I say that, guys, because it has one-fourth calories. Uh, a calorie um, nutrients and then um, regular bacon. In other words, it's good for you, so do it. I got my cheese egg omelet looking good. Look at all those tomatoes, y'all. We and me, y'all, for breakfast, I don't count calories. I use portions like the size of my fist, little servings like that, and that's pretty much it, okay? But y'all see what's going on. And of course, got to have the toast, got to have the toast, and y'all know what I like to do. I'm so spoiled. I like to cut mine in half. Yes, I right, some of my learning. I guess you know, being a dining facility manager, I mean, I run my own uh, dining facility for the United States Army when I before when I made E7 in the year. Yeah, but anyway, y'all, let's check out the grits with me. I mean, I told y'all to go ahead and put that milk inside that grits. Let me show you what it looks like. I know I'm making y'all hungry, and I'm sending y'all a virtual plate. Okay, I am. What I'm gonna do is put see there, makes it nice and you cook, you know, when you cook grits, you like, you got to make it to your own discretion. Some people don't like theirs so 
so thick and some like there's you know just runny or whatever me i like mine in between i really do and what i'm basically doing y'all is just taking the grits putting in the plate when i should get a bigger spoon but this is okay i'm trying to watch, make sure i watch my portions because i can eat grits all day i love grits i'm going to just go ahead and put this over here and it's time to eat y'all and what i'm going to do is turn all this hot stuff off we're going to sit down over by the fan and eat and start with the rest of the check if you like this video like to see more uh content of this nature where i'm looking and we're relaxing and, and praising god having a happy sunday breaking bread together y'all and uh give me a like y'all got all the information look at in my description you can see how to contact me about anything if i can do anything with anybody else anyone please let me know what the world needs now, y'all. Look, look, y'all. What I'm gonna do now is put my food over here, and I'm gonna eat. Y'all gonna eat breakfast with me this morning. Not too long. We'll be able to talk about five more minutes and let you guys enjoy your day because I have things I have to do. I gotta do my hair, guys. I got. I gotta go get my hair done today. I got to. It's going so much that I even don't. I just threw it up and <laughs> just threw it up. But I promise, the next time y'all see me, I'm gonna be looking glams up. But right now, guys, what I'm gonna do my toast and drink today is going to be. Water. As I take that back, I got something to drink. Oh, Diet Coke. Come on and eat, everyone. Five people to build a seven homes up. I'm trying to move this over, y'all, so I can enjoy my food, so y'all can see what's going on. I promise you, in less than five minutes, y'all gonna see somebody running to the kitchen real quick. But they smell the food. But let me save grace. God is good. Thank you for the smell, maybe provides nourishment for my, my my mind, body, and soul. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Let's taste this food, y'all. I'm going to get back in the chat. And uh, Trucker Z says, uh, hello, Mr. J. Yes, there's actually laughing yoga from Trucker Z. Hanging with Mr. J says, what's all those simple things burn calories? They burn calories and make your body feel good. And that's good for you, too. Um, and uh, hanging with Mr. J says, hey, Trucker Z. Going down the chat, y'all. Let me get back up here. And supposedly laughing and burns more calories than walking. They sure do. See there? Smoke a blunt. You ain't got no job. I don't know why you ain't smoking. You're tired. I don't know why you ain't smoking. But don't be like him now. This fool smoked 10 blunts a day. And at the end of the month, he goes, I need to quit smoke. I said, Well, I spent too much money. Duh. You only get so high on that stuff, right? That's why I hear. If I was smoke, I, would, I, I couldn't even smoke a blunt, but he could smoke seven. We call him Smoke Dog. Y'all remember that stuff that uh, movie with Chicken Chong? They smoked so much reaper. They turned the lizards. Lizard, lizard, lizard. That's all he's a fucking stoner, bro. For real. I swear to God. He, see there, he admit to it. At least I'm not lying. The devil is a lie. So I'm a stoner. What would I look like as a stoner? I mean, really. So y'all probably like, what? Is that girl on Lost of Marbles? No. Excuse me. I, I'm sorry, y'all. Something you know, some men you gotta just tie them out and not pay your attention. But anyway, get back to my chat. Sorry, I miss saying hi. Hi, I was listening, but feeding dogs. I understand, I brother Stella. I gotta feed mine too. So this is a good idea. I burn cells. I, I eat one egg every couple that couple, couple years. Hello, well, okay. Well, somebody know my eggs. Uh, Mac Daddy, Doug, uh, Gator uh, Buses can't celebrate the Fourth of July, honey. They taking, taking women's right. Yeah, they taking women's right. You know what? They can take all the rights they want because ain't nobody gonna take the fact that I'm a woman away, honey. Boom, woman power. You see, they right now. There's certain states allow that to happen. All states ain't that way. Hey, if someone look, first of all, I'm gonna say this, okay? Got me eating on that. Ain't nobody gonna tell me what to do with my body, okay? Now, I don't condone having abortions. I don't, but I don't think a man has a right to tell me when and when to create one. If I was a young girl and somebody raped me, let's use that for example. I think I should have the right with my position. Knowing I'm already heard rape, probably embarrassed. I mean, you know, I, I've seen many rape victims because I used to be a rape advocate for the military and for some civilian hospitals in Washington, D.C. Some of these women got beat up and been walking down the street, and this guy, like Jack the Ripper, just jump out, beat her to death, and then impregnate her. She has a right to see and say when she want to have that baby or not. She does. All right, now, no man, or no lawyer, to tell me when I can have an abortion or not. But you don't know my circumstances. So we're not going to judge nobody. Last time I checked the Bible, said, don't judge nobody. These young ladies being raped and stuff, hurt on the depression, talking about suicide. And you're going to tell her when she can't, that she got to 
raising a child up and the baby was a reason why she's hurt she got to look at that come on people we got to look past our own what, what we say look at the real picture what about the little 16 year old who's pregnant she had to go tell her mom the only option she got is suicide because you gonna took the right for her to decide whether or not she can write the baby or not even though i don't like abortion but when we put when we kill people on the death penalty what we're saying about that two wrongs don't make no right baby either it is or you ain't but anyway I'm gonna celebrate regardless, in and out of spirit, honey. Cause up in heaven, we ain't gonna have no gender, but God. Yes, just advanced level five. See you later, struggles. You have a beautiful day. Salute at the court, baby. Abra's and Zessa says, Z not C. <laughs> Z not C. What's up, back with life? HWGAC, what's up, baby? Man, this mood is oh so good, y'all. Abra says, I have part of my video done. Just need to learn how to put pictures over. I need to learn how to do that too. I was looking at old video, I was trying to make new, and I got this new editor, right? This new movie editor. And it won't do what I wanted to do. I want to add my music when I want to, like my intro, outro, and all that stuff. How does the hell this easy to go live? <laughs> you ain't got to worry about editing when you go live. I'm serious. But anyway, that's just my opinion. I would love to see homemade mac and cheese. Oh, honey, I can do that for you. No problem. I got you. I'm going to put that down on my YouTube channel. Women are losing rights, though. That is right. We are losing rights. We are. We all are losing rights. And you got Joe Biden, but then Donald Trump here. We all losing rights. That's good. I agree. And the reason why I'm like that, y'all, because I just had my teeth playing with my teeth are very sensitive right now mm. yeah let me taste this turkey bacon this is what i want so it's oh my god y'all look how crispy it is see there nice and crispy mm. so good to make you want to hug your mom Woo. love my mom <laughs> look good mm. my mother was the one who taught me that recipe when i was like nine years old <laughs> See, I'm the oldest. I had to cook for everybody in my family. My mom, Mama Dukes and Blake. And she worked, I was in charge of everything. My brother said, that guess who's been in trouble? I did. Well, that's how my mom and daddy left. I would tell you, I would fire my brothers and stuff. Slap the piss out of them. I ain't give my butt whooping. If I give my butt whooping, I'm gonna gnarly dead. And that's why they love me today. But well, anyway, get back to the chat. I stopped as I have become more bedridden than ever before. I'm sorry, I've heard tell prayers, baby. But we'll be doing some more as I can. Yeah, do the best you can, honey. So I just move around. You know, he's, some people are. And I see y'all just gonna come get a plate. I know Mac Daddy is sick. That is right. I, I agree with you, Albert and Stella. Buddha Freak, what's up? Hi, hon. Buddha Freak is Jesus Freak with a new channel. What they do? How you, um, what's going on, too, Jesus Freak? I know why you call yourself Buddha Freak because, you know, Jesus Freak. Y'all know Jesus Freak. All he do is smoke bud all day. You know, came with another channel called Buddha Freak. <laughs> Buddha Freak. It ain't because he's Buddhism. Now because he smoked too much marijuana. Like guess Jesus ate a spider and had a big old thing of boring of a what do you call it? Cigarettes and marijuana out his bone. And that's why he calls that Buddha Freak. What's up, bro? My internet may drop. Bad weather well today. Yeah. That's why I decided to go early now because we're supposed to have some thunderstorms because you know there's a hurricane making up a trouble. We're going to get a little bit of it on the coast of the Carolinas. Y'all know where I'm at. I'm on, I'm, on the, I'm on the beach. I'm on the front of the beach, Carolinas. Y'all see a hurricane going to the, gonna hit the East Coast. I'm more, I'm more likely going to be impacted. All right? Like right now, she's growing up. Back with the stream, Buddha Freak. Oh, my goodness. I got two people build eight thumbs up. You like to share me out. I'm sorry, y'all. This was so good. And y'all like the recipes. I'm gonna start putting recipes in my description today. I didn't because I want to do a live show so I can edit it my way. And that's why y'all see me more not just going live, but me cooking because I'm trying to make my channel more my niche more cooking and vlogging. 
Um, you make my dogs getting too big and out, out of control. I tried to upload a video with them yesterday. They wouldn't have it. By the time I pull out my camera, they were gone. Chase the coons. <laughs> so I just started going outside. And last time I did, y'all can see the dogs. Because I want to put new content on, on, on Dog Nation, Pet Nation. But my dogs, they're always gone. And I have to get up five or six o'clock in the morning, just go catch them, honey. That's in the country. That's all they do. He's on all day long. I'm getting back to the chat. This was so good, y'all. I'm going to give him another piece. I'm going to be still. Y'all have some. I'm sending y'all virtual plate. Happy Sunday, y'all. <laughs> Wait, let me get serious. That's what, I was hungry, y'all. I'm sorry. Y'all got to excuse me. I didn't eat y'all all day. Last night was like 9 o'clock. It's called intermittent fasting. Oh, what? Well. It's after up. They are saying rape survivors or incest survivors can do so wrong. I know that's right. Then but who the freak says amen. But this most of G's, you just advance to level two. I I may just do a live then LOL. Well do a live baby. Come on. I want to see the dog it. Do a live. I love doing lives. Lives you get to the point you have to worry about it and it. Mm. Let's check it back in. Oh, so good and healthy for you. Mm, check it back in. I know, right? I'm standing up for the break. Love, love, love. Check it back in. Me too, Alberta Stella. I love it. They suspended me for a week from going, oh, see, I told you, Jesus. I told you you're going to get a chance to try doing that. I told you. Sorry, y'all. I'm going to go back quick, honey. You ain't no YouTube until you get a channel strike. <laughs> Once you get a channel strike, we can talk about YouTube. You'll make, you'll make it. You'll make it. I done had two minutes. <laughs> I done had over 100 channel strikes. Please believe me. You'll get over it. And y'all, I didn't know. It was my anniversary. We're having this YouTube channel. How's the food, Miss Myers? Love it, love it. Well, we got a hundred for the, the views of the food, y'all. Yeah. Mm. Food is doggone good. Mm. Mm. Y'all, please forgive me. This food so good, make you want to hug somebody. Mm -mm -mm. Send y'all hugs, y'all. I'm full though. It's good. Since I started my internet fasting, I can't eat as much. Yeah, come and get it. Mm -hmm. Here. Yeah, I don't eat too, too much. So I don't eat that much. I get it's so rude. Hold on, y'all. I'm going to get me a little piece of this bacon. I'm going to get me into the chair. So good, y'all. Oh, God, I've been alive an hour and eight minutes. Mm. No cooking that broke bread with y'all. Mm. I love eating breakfast with my people, y'all. Love y'all. Well, actually, we eating lunchtime now, right? I get up late. I was up late last night watching a movie. Y'all yeah, wanna know he watched he watched Evanny Holyfield fight Mike Tyson. He loves boxing and wrestling. That's all he watched. And of course those uh other detective channels and stuff like Law and Order. And y'all know some that lady from Law and Order, the drunk lawyer died. Oh my god. When him and I met, I wasn't really into Law and Order because you guys know I was in the military, but that drunk lawyer, but she used to get oh, she used to drink, but you know what? She would win all of them about those uh them, them um, cases on Law and Order. I was sad to hear that she passed away. 
A lot of people leave this world, y'all. I'll tell you. Oh. We all gonna have to go one day. Say it for the truth. If I was, I wanted nobody that. I don't know who I hate them. Yeah, Still those with the squirrels here. I know that's right. And that's why, you know, I'm losing subscribers over there. I had 30 and got the 42 within the last 30 days or whatever. So I got to give them something new. So I got my all night camera outside, open the dogs' cages and stuff. They catch a glimpse of the dogs. So I got to go through all this video coverage. I'm going to do it today. Chop it down with the dogs and just throw it up on dogs' earth. Time to get some new qualities. Time to get some new covers. I mean, really. Well, y'all hear all that damn, damn, damn in the background. He watching a fight. I'm sorry, y'all. Let's look. Y'all see him? Look at that face. The seriousness. Because this is what he watching. Y'all watch it. They don't want to see you. I don't want to see you. Eat your ass. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Excuse me. Oh. You be playing. Having a good time here on Sunday. Yeah, but I'm, I'm coming up to Virginia on uh, Friday. So if you live in the Washington, D.C., Virginia area, Maryland, Charlestown, West Virginia, I'm coming through. I'll be all of a sudden giving up. A speech to the troops, National Defense University. So if you're a subscriber or from that area, I'd like to meet you. I know a few of you from up there. I know a lot of people in Maryland. But you know, if you're in the Charlotte area, I'm North Carolina, South Carolina, Maryland, Virginia, DC, West Virginia area, let me know. I'm coming soon. Stop by, have drinks, body lunch, and got Carolina diamonds. Some but I'm leaving out Friday. Going on the cruise. I'm on back. I stay up there for a couple weeks. Oh yeah, and Matthew Combs. He's from Virginia. The B. Oh my God. The B from Virginia. Big Daddy. What's his name? Big Daddy B. Big Pimp B. Where was his name? Is? I am poor, y'all. I'm about to get your check. You know, if I put the time on one minute, I want somebody to tell me how many times that man is going to say, damn, I promise you I'll give you a good figure at least 70 times. What? You know, he just said to me, don't worry about it. What you say, boy? I can't hear you. Y'all remember Grandma Powell? I love that show. This one main reason I went to the military. Y'all gotta excuse me, I gotta get a little bit more egg, a little bit more grit. I know you would great. Right, you gonna watch this? Yeah. Got me a little bit of grits and uh, eggs. Well, this is a slamming. I can't believe it. I'm going back for seconds. This is really good. Y'all hear him? I mean, you don't get him, I eat him. I said, I know you will, Grady. I guess the food is good, too. You know, I can't cook a little bit. You know, y'all can too. Y'all know what ladies they say. The way to a man's heart is through his stomach. It's true. Oh, this was so good. I tell you, it's good, y'all. I'm, I'm proud of what he's eating. I'm not, I really am. I'm not used to buying eggs from Family Dollar or Dollar General. But I was there when the supply truck came in. And the guy's like, I got to get rid of these eggs. I'm going to sell them at 89 cents. I got me two of them. Eggs is high, big and wicker, honey. Big with $3 versus 89 cents up in the dollar store. I'm going to the dollar store. Spend their pressure off the truck. Mmm. Now y'all know I'm eating breakfast and lunch. <laughs> but anyway, mm. go. See, we're going back with second. Mm. 
You gonna eat the rest of that food, ain't you? Yeah, it's without a prison. I don't know. No, I'll get it. No, you're going to get it because you watch it. Yeah. Y'all see him eating? Nah. He's getting the grits out of the eye. I actually didn't drop, but watch. Y'all see him right here? That plate right there? You can tear that up. Yeah, I'm going to leave all that. Yeah, I'm going to leave all that. Who you call a messy? Oh, okay. Yeah, I thought so. I'm gonna get your tongue right, Satan. <laughs> that's the after boot Buddha. Sorry, what happened, Buddha? Buddha. Copyright infringement. I know that's messed up. What happened, Jesus? Buddha, what happened? Buddha's actually Jesus for y'all. You don't want to hold the head, you. No. Yes. So I greet you. You don't want my hands, do you? That Reba give me the money, then he I can cook, y'all. That's why I can slay. Can, can your girlfriend cook, boy? Burn. I can burn. Yeah, I can do that too. I ain't watching the food. That's the damn stuff. Oh, okay. mm. But anyway, get back to the chat, y'all. <laughs> um, I'm sorry about that booty that you got. Hopefully, you'll be back in a week, though, baby. You know, I don't know. If I was somebody coming to your chat, doing stuff on your live stream or saying something they ain't supposed to say. Because Jesus, I know that you have good quality. I'm over there and I love being over there. Yeah, it's hot. I tell you it's hot. It's hot. I need to turn the air conditioning on. Hold on, I'll be right back. Oh wow. Um I use once daily. 